Welcome back to Great Day Washington. This weekend we celebrate Mother's Day and all you moms. You all are doing a great job. We want to celebrate you and we want to give you tips on how to stay sane during these challenging times. So here is my interview with Erin Heidelberger. Erin, it's so good to see you. Good morning. Welcome to Great Day Washington. Good morning. Thank you. It's great to be here. This is such a weird time for all of us, uh, especially the moms. We're coming up on Mother's Day, but they're having to take on double duty. But you have some ideas and some ways for moms to, to get through this and maybe take a little time for themselves, right? Where do we start? Right. I know. Where do we start? You know <laughs> what? Here, here's, here's what I want to say. I'm a mom of three boys, and let's start simply, let's start with the basics and something you can do right now to kind of like gain control over your four walls and your family and your children. Put your kids to bed at the exact same time every night. Why? Because then you know exactly when you can like punch off from the mom clock and have some time for yourself. As well as feed your children three square meals at the exact same time every day so that you're not constantly cleaning your kitchen. You have what you call your get mom system. What is that and how can that help everybody? Oh, well, all right. So the get mom system it is seven steps to get it together. Okay. So it starts with sleep and schedule and it ends with happy mommy time. And I know we are all craving happy mommy time. We are surrounded. We haven't been alone. Everyone is in our face, but with just kind of taking like really simple steps. Again, it goes back to put your kids to bed every night at the same time, have your kids on the same schedule and schedule is so important. We humans, we adults, children, we thrive on a schedule because we know exactly what to expect throughout the day. Okay, so if we know they're, they're having their lunch or taking their classes and we can maybe find that time for ourselves. Right, we can find that time for the Zoom workout. We can right. find that time to do a little meditation. <laughs> we can just sit and zone out and try to find a little grace for ourselves and kindness that we have survived another day in quarantine. And what do you say to the moms out there that are feeling like, oh, I'm failing as a mom or I just can't do this? Uh, I say to everyone, all of us, we are not failing. We are not teachers. We are not equipped for this. We didn't, we are not educated to be teachers. We're not educated or trained for spending 24 seven with our loved ones. It does not matter how much you like and love your family, <laughs> your partner. There are no rules and there's not enough support that we can ever come out of this right. feeling like, hey, we like we're rocking it. So I say lower the expectations, give yourself so much kindness and grace. I'm all about a mantra. Mine is I'm a really good mommy. With this mantra, you know, saying like reminding yourself that you are a really good mommy. Science has proven that positive self-talk really raises our confidence and who does not need that right now. Well, thank you for helping to raise our confidence and, and giving us some ideas on how to put the me back in mommy. Erin, thanks so much. And uh, you're doing a great job too as a mom. Stay safe and you be are well. Too. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you, Irene. And remember, once again, moms, you are doing a fabulous job. We love you. We support you. And happy Mother's Day to all of you. Hopefully you find the chance to relax a little.